You might have recently heard about the Internet of Things. You may even be wondering what things are. Well, things are either sensors or actuators. Sensors are things that tell us about our environment, a thing like a temperature sensor or a humidity sensor. Actuators are things to control, like your thermostat or an outlet. The Internet of Things brings it all together so we can interact with our things. What I wanted to do in this video was to introduce you to ThingSpeak and some of the applications. In future videos, I'll walk you through some of the features. A big part of ThingSpeak is the real-time data collection engine. As you can see right here on our home page is a live demo. This happens to be the light level in my office. Instead of just reporting sensor values, what you can do is give your data a little bit more meaning and also provide status messages. So in this case, I have my house telling me I left my lights on. Instead of telling me the light value when my lights were on was 513. What does that mean? Well, well the Internet of Things can tell us your lights were on. Other features of ThingSpeak include an open source API, which for developers will allow you to put this on your own servers, put it on a home computer. We also provide data processing so you can give your data a little bit more meaning than just raw sensor values. We have data visualizations like charts and gauges. The API is also location aware. There are dedicated fields for latitude, longitude, and elevation. So if you have moving sensors, you can also track their location to give it a little bit more meaning. You can provide status updates just like you left your lights on. It's an application infrastructure so you can build your applications. We have a number of apps and plugins that allow you to extend and use ThingSpeak for other ways that we intended it. To get started with ThingSpeak, all you have to do is visit thingspeak.com and click sign up. 